हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सीएमए रोहन शर्मा यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कैंपस प्लेसमेंट जनरल पॉलिसीज एंड गाइडलाइंस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड रोल ऑफ प्लेसमेंट सेल The placement cell is of great help to students during placement related activities as it acts as a facilitator and counselor. However, it is important to note that the placement cell does not guarantee a job. Applying or joining a company is entirely the responsibility and decision of the student concerned. Eligibility for placement facility The placement facility is available only to students who have registered online along with pre-placement orientation program. One job per student. At the first instance, only one job offer will be given to a student. If a student is offered a job, they will be they registered from the placement process and will not be allowed to appear for any further processes until campus placement activities are over. Identity card Students must keep their identity card with them at all times during the placement process and produce it when asked by the visiting team, placement staff or their representatives. Contacting company officials No student other than the placement team is allowed to contact the company officials for any purpose without prior permission of the placement cell. Accepting a job offer Once the student appears for the placement process, they cannot reject the offer made by the company in search of availing another offer in course of time. Each student shall be permitted to accept only one valid offer. Missed interview process. The institute is no way responsible if a student who is primarily shortlisted in multiple companies misses out on a NY interview process of any particular company due to overlapping interview schedule slash process slash time. However, primarily shortlisting is not a guarantee for final shortlisting by the company. Withdrawal of acceptance. After accepting a job offer, if any student decides to withdraw their acceptance, they must inform the company concerned through the placement cell immediately. But in such a case their candidature will be blocked for further placement opportunity. False claims in resume. If a student makes any false claim in their resume, their registration at placement cell may be liable to be cancelled immediately. If the student has already received a job offer, it would be revoked. Eligibility criteria. It is the sole responsibility of the student to check that they meet all the eligibility criteria required at the time of joining academic experience medical etc indecent behavior any kind of indecent behavior during the placement engagement sessions may lead to cancellation of registration mode of placement process The placement process may be conducted in both physical and or online mode as per the requirement of the company or depending upon other situations. Conclusion That's all for today's video on campus placement, general policies and guidelines. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.